Hello, welcome back. Welcome back to the course of Unix for Testers where I'm going to talk on manual and automated concepts uh, regarding Unix. Okay, so uh, in last video, if you remember, I talked about how we can create a Unix instance for practice and purpose on Google Cloud. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk on how you can connect to that particular Unix instance, Unix server, or VM instance via Putty. Okay, so basically, Putty uh, is a SSH client is used to connect to unix server okay so uh, we can install putty okay so there are um, many ways how you can connect to put uh, unix server but this is the um, general used uh, ssh client okay so i'm going to uh, download and install putty from putty.org okay so if i click on putty.org it will ask me to download putty and the very first link i'll click on you can download putty from here and it will give me the option so i'm using my windows installer for 64 bit and it's going to download okay and it is downloaded i'm just clicked on it it will open it's going to install i just clicked on next uh the installation location fine with me clicked on next what and all you want to install install putty i don't want to create a desktop shortcut and whatever default they have that's fine with me click on install and it is going to install it won't take uh, more than a minute view readme file i don't want click on finish so now i have installed my putty great next we have done with the installation now the next thing is uh, to generate a public or private keys okay so uh, okay so let me go to my unix instance okay so here i am this is my unix instance and once again let me connect to this particular instance via browser because i want to show you something regarding the keys okay so uh, basically the uh, a public private keys okay so there are two kind of key public keys and private keys public keys are specific to my particular user accounts of key uh, public key and private key so my private key is personal to me which i am going to use it to connect to particular instance and i am responsible for it okay whereas public key is made public by particular unix instance where uh, a number of uh, users from that particular server can interact to it okay so if i go to my unix server so i again opened it from my uh, browser window itself okay and if i go to uh, okay if i try and list the number of files what i have okay so we'll be talking about details what and all command we have so i'm just trying to get what and all file i have in my account so you can see i have one file called as dot ssh okay so it is dot ssh which is a hidden file okay so if i try and open okay or let me fine so let me open this dot ssh file okay it's a directory fine let me go to that particular directory okay and let me check what and all i have in this directory again and here you can see i have something called as authorized key okay so do not worry about this comment uh, commands i'm going to talk uh, in details okay so now i want to open this file so to open the files i can use cat command and the file name and here you can see some keys okay you can see some keys you can see two keys over here okay public key and my private key and you can see my details over here my username when it is going to expire and all those things okay so these keys if you remember these keys are present in my my personal account so this aec dot prakash is my personal account okay so if i check uh, who am i it will give my username okay so i am in this directory so these keys belongs to me so these are my private keys okay now where the public keys of particular unix server resides okay so let me go back and let me go to the folder called as etc ssh let me list out what and all i have okay okay so here 
in etc ssh folder you can see there are uh, public and private keys are present okay so these are the basically the public keys for this particular uh, uh, made public by this particular unix environment okay so i'm not going to use these keys okay so what i'm going to use is i'm going to generate my own public and private keys which i'm going to interact uh, I'm, I'm going to use it while interacting with unix server okay and uh, i i just install putty right so in put along with putty installation there is something comes called as putty gen okay so if i open this putty gen so basically this is putty key generator and it will help me to generate my keys okay my uh, basically my private keys okay and i'll just click on this generate and i will hover my mouse uh, in this free space it will generate a key for me okay so this is the key generated for me okay so i'll just copy this particular key okay and okay i'll add a uh, key command as my name so basically that's my user name okay and i'm going to save it as my private key and i'm going to save it uh, in some folder that's fine and i'm going to save it with name key fine so now my key is saved fine now i just copied this particular key okay now what i want to do is i want to use this specific key in order to interact with particular this particular unix server okay this particular unix server i want to interact with and for that purpose i am going to use this key okay so how i can use it let me close this particular uh, terminal now and let me go to this particular instance okay i am going to that particular instance and because i need to update this key into that particular instance okay so i am going to click on edit this particular instance and i should see some option to add the ssh keys okay so you can see some option as ssh key and it says you have zero ssh key i didn't added any ssh key yet okay so i just clicked on add and here i am simply going to paste my key okay so fine now my key is there okay so that's fine i just clicked on save now my particular uh, uh okay so my key is updated now so now what i'm going to do is uh let me open putty now okay so to open the putty i am going to use this putty which i just installed okay so this putty is basically the interface uh, which i am going to use it to connect to this particular uh, unix instance okay now it asks me few things like what is my host name okay so basically the host name is your external ip address so i am just going to copy this external ip address and i'll put it in host name here fine and what else port 22 is by default port which they will use and one more thing which i should give it over here is ssh key okay so if i go to this ssh over here and if i go to authorization it will ask me for some key file okay so i'm just going to browse and i'll give the location of the file which i just saved if you remember a couple of minutes back fine and i want to allow this and i just click on open okay now it will ask me to log in as okay i'll enter my name whatever i used over there okay so fine so give me a second give me once more because i think the name was something different okay so what has happened is when we copied the key over here let me show you when we copied the key uh, let me click on edit okay so when we copied the key over here it has taken the username as rss key something okay but in actual i used the name as Prakash, okay. Uh, this happened because I used I copied this key first and then I changed the name. So the but the specific key 
chain got copied i'm going to copy it again and i'm going to remove this one and i'm going to add new one fine now let me click on save because if you see whatever key file i is stored if i click on edit and you should see some name over here this is my user name and this is my key okay so this is my public key and this is my private key okay so uh, now let us try okay let us go to the vm instance let us open putty again okay uh, let me copy the host name which is my external ip fine and let me give the ssh key again let me allow agent forwarding and let me browse the key okay now what i'll do is i'll just go to the session and i'm going to save it with let us say uh, unix okay because every time i did not to put this host name this port and this key okay so i'm going to save this fine i'm going to click on open and now it will ask me for the login name my login name is prakash fine so now i am authenticated okay and here if you read it is saying authenticated with authenticating with public key prakash because that's what my username is in my particular uh, ssh key okay so that's how now i am connected to unix instance via putty okay so now if you want i can close this particular uh my cloud okay i i, I can close everything and now i can uh, work on this particular unix server okay like let us say i i, I do ls hyphen l to find out all the files which are present in my particular directory i do not have any file if i try ls hyphen a which will give my hidden file as well so you can see now i am able to con communicate basically with my unix server okay so that's what i wanted to discuss in this particular session where uh, i talked about how we can connect with unix server via putty okay so what we did is we installed putty then we created uh, we we generated basically a public private key by using uh, putty gen okay so what i did is i just click on generate okay i just clicked on generate i hovered my mouse over here so that it will generate some key, random key for me and it has generated some key okay so the mistake what we did first time is we uh, basically we copied this key first and we copied it first and then we changed this particular name okay let us say i changed it to prakash okay if you change it this particular key is going to modify and we didn't copy this modified key and that's the reason we got that issue while connecting with your unix server okay and you can just save it and you can refer it from your putty okay so that's all i have for this video in next video i'll talk about how we can connect to the same unix server via WinSCP, which is again another platform which is basically a gui platform uh, to interact with the files on your unix server okay Thank you.